An application programming interface or API allows different apps, websites, and databases to communicate with each other. With the call API integration in Glide, you can call any API that you have access to and then return that data directly in your app. Now, Glide has many pre-built integrations that do exactly this already. They create a connection between a Glide app and another platform so that they can both communicate and share data. But with a call API, you can create a custom integration to any platform you might need, even if Glide doesn't already have an integration for that platform. Because the call API is so customizable, it's important to understand the different elements of invoking an API so you can choose the right building blocks for your use case. We'll cover the core concepts first and then put this all together at the end by configuring the call API column in Glide. When you perform an API call, you make a request to a HTTP endpoint and the data is typically returned to you in JSON. We'll talk about JSON in another video, but for now, just know that the data that you retrieve will be in this format. So just like every web page on the internet has a web address, every API has a HTTP endpoint. APIs have different requirements. For example, some might require certain query string values to be present in the endpoint. Before you configure call API in your app, make sure you've gathered any requirements your API connection might have. API keys, which are sometimes called secrets or secret keys, are security features that are often required to access private information. If you're connecting Glide to an internal platform that you use for operations, say, then you'll need to gather the API key from that platform and pass it to Glide through the call API configuration. You can perform different types of data manipulations through an API call. In Glide, we call this the method, and there are five options. Get retrieves existing data, and this is the most common API request. Post creates a new record. Put replaces an existing record. Patch replaces a subset of values in an existing record. This is similar to post, but only the values you specify are changed. And then delete removes a record. A query string is a set of key value pairs that are used for sorting or filtering the data that's returned. These values make your query more specific, targeting exactly the data that you want to retrieve and nothing else. Headers are properties added to an API call to provide additional context. One common parameter is authorization, which allows the API to detect who is making the API request. You can add as many headers as needed when you're building an API call. Body is the data that's sent from your app to the other application. This option won't appear when the method is get since no data is being sent from Glide. Most of the time, the body of the request will be in JSON format. Refresh after is specified in minutes, and this is basically how long Glide will wait to refresh the data by making another API call. Glide's default is to wait 30 days before doing another call. Now, some APIs actually enforce quotas about how frequently you can make a call. So make sure you're considering any API enforced quotas before setting the refresh rate for your call. Okay, so let's put this all together. To use call API, open the data editor and create a new call API column. Next, enter the endpoint from the resource that you're trying to connect to. This will be a URL format. You can include a query string in the endpoint if you like, or create a query string automatically with the configuration options below. Next, choose the method for the API call. Then add any query string value pairs that you want to include. And if required, add the API key as a query string value. To keep this data secure, select secret when configuring the value. This will keep this information secure. You can also use the secret value type to secure any values in the query string that you might want to remain hidden. If you aren't sure whether to make a value secret or not, we always recommend erring on the side of caution by making them secret. This is because endpoints can be revealed if a user were to inspect the source of your application. So to keep that data secure, keeping it secret is the best choice. By default, Glide makes all custom values entered in query strings secret. However, column values pulled from your data are not secret. Next, you can add any headers that you want to include by selecting add value and entering as many as you need. And finally, if you're sending data to an API, include the body JSON. When you save the configuration and close the window, the data in the call API column will immediately update as the call is performed. If there are any errors in the call, the text in the column will turn red. The API will also usually return some error code that you can look at to discern what the issue might be.